All of those campaign ads and speeches in your backyard are designed for your decision 2012. In a matter of hours, though, you will make that final decision. And that is why 10 on your side has been here every step of the way during this sometimes <laughs> tumultuous but never dull presidential election. Tom Shad and a special guest are here with a preview of tomorrow night. Tom? Well, that's right, Steph and Nicole. The races carry so much weight this year. Who we elect as president will determine the direction of the nation. And this year's Senate race plays a major role in that, too. Now, while we're talking about roles, Joel Rubin is here to preview his. He'll be providing <laughs> expert analysis here and on Wavy.com tomorrow night. Now, first, let's take a look at the big picture. We call it Larry Sabato's crystal ball. Larry Sabato, of course, from the University of Virginia. Well, as a matter of fact, Larry and I went to college together. That's so right. We back so at school together, and I've been interviewing Larry him for really, really well. years. And you see yeah. a lot of red there, but of course, the big question, of course, is Virginia. And Virginia's in pink, leading yeah. Republican. Larry is predicting that Barack Obama is going to win the election with 290 electoral votes. You only need, what, 270, 270 to win. Right. So that's a 20 electoral vote margin. He's putting Virginia and 248 for Romney. He's giving Virginia and Florida to Romney. But he's giving Ohio and Pennsylvania, that's 38 electoral votes right there, plus Wisconsin, plus Iowa, all of those going to Barack Obama. We go back to our electoral map, and, and we heard so much over the past several weeks about Ohio and its 18 electoral votes and how that's still in play. Polls have the president with a slight lead. There's a poll in Pennsylvania that has that at a dead heat right now, and Pennsylvania has not gone Republican since 88. Well, so there's going to be some look, interesting the states to watch besides Virginia. Well, the polls have Virginia in a dead heat, too. Yep. But, but Larry does a lot of research, and his gang up at the Center for Politics at UVA does a lot of research into these things. And they have determined, based on their, what he calls it, his crystal ball, that Virginia is going to go Republican. I've always felt like it would go Republican, that I, I kind of look at Romney is a more is exciting the Republicans more than McCain did four years ago. Obama's not exciting the Democrats as much as he did four years ago. But again, there's six points that have to be made up. That's the margin that Obama won by in Virginia So in much of it depends on turnout. Let's go to the Senate race now and see what I'm talking about, because Kane and Allen, those are our two candidates for Jim Webb's Senate seat. Uh, polls have Tim Kane with, I think, under a one-point advantage. Well, in Virginia at well, this point. Well, guess what? Webb won by less than one yeah, point six always years close. ago against George Allen. So why should this be uh, any different? Um, again, if you would think that the, if the Republican wins Virginia, that's got to mean a few more votes for Allen. If the Democrat wins, it's a few more votes uh, for Kane. So we could be up late tomorrow night waiting for the final in that one. Well, let's look at the, another one here. Virginia voters in 2008. There you go. This is one that you always refer to, Joel. Uh, the president and, of course, John McCain. We see 52 percent to 46 percent. You expect this to be different. Well, first of all, the, the incredible number is that 3.7 million people that voted, which yeah. was 75 percent of the registered voters in Virginia went to the polls. 2008 was an extraordinary year. And it, of course, as everybody knows, the first time Virginia had gone for a Democrat, in 44 years yes, LBJ. and it made us yeah. purple and that's the reason that everybody thinks we could go democrat this year while we've gotten all of the ads and mm -hmm. all the phone calls and stevie wonder stevie wonder <laughs> tonight and you're going to see joel rubin and myself and our entire news team nicole and alveda and everybody out yeah. in the field as well uh, tomorrow night on election night